Hello folks, today we're going to make the world's best burger. We've got our ground minced beef. Uh, make sure you get a good beef from your butcher. We've got our sweet red onions. We've got chopped parsley. We've got grilled cheddar cheese. Whole grain mustard, our garlic, sea salt flakes and pepper and our hickory smoked oil. First of all, we're going to add our onions. Some of our parsley. Our garlic, our mustard, some of our sea salt. And this is a gravy recipe. If you want to make this up the night before, I'll have it sitting in the fridge and then you make your burgers the next day. I'm going to add our egg. Cheese, Put our cheese in, and just two tablespoons of our brighter gold hickory smoked oil. And give it a mix. And give it a good mix around, get all the Ingredients mixed, your mustard mixed, your season. Pan on the heat. Don't be afraid to get your hands in there, give it a good squeeze. This is a good one for the kids, get them all in their hands all messy. As kids love to do. That's it. And this mix should make six or seven wheat burgers. Depends on your size. So and that's all mixed together. We're going to take a handful of mix. So usually, by the size of a baseball or maybe a tennis ball, just squeeze in your hand and then flatten it down. Everything is squirted around your hand. I even put on a chopping board. Give me a mix. Ideally, now if you make these up, put them in the fridge to let them settle down. And let them form the wee burger shape. They'll be better off to fry. So we'll have it something like that. That's really nice. Let's so once our pan is full, we're going to add a wee drop more of our very smooth oil. And take our wee burger. Once the oil's hot, we're going to add a burger. We're going to pan fry it on both sides. A little bit more black pepper. And salt. So we're going to pan fry it on both sides. Then we're going to finish it in the oven. Or else I'm going to use a wee lid as a, an oven. So if you're making more than one burger at a time, uh, maybe four or five, we're going to, you can put it in the oven and that will do for uh, five minutes, 180 degrees. So we're going to cook these on both sides and then you come back to me and see the finished product. Okay, so once there will be burgers browned on one side, and will flip it over and we'll cook it on the other side. And you see it once you put your burger, cook your burger with it's all everybody starts patting it down and pressing it. So we just want to let it cook away and seal in the juices. You're, once you squeeze it down, you're squeezing all the juices under the pan and your burger ends up dry. So we'll keep it like that. We're going to turn the oven or the cooker pot, the pan down, cooker pot, and I'll put the lid on it and let it act like a wee oven.
Okay, folks, we're after five or ten minutes. Our little burger is cooked. We're going to top it with cheese. And you can put it back in the oven, or as I'm going to do, put it in a cover of a lid. Just to melt our cheese. And now we're going to dress our bat. Okay, folks, now we're going to dress our burger. I love a wee bit of whole grain mustard on it. Or a big bit of whole grain mustard. We got some iceberg lettuce. We got our fine tomatoes, we got one at the bottom, we got our burger here, another couple of tomatoes, some gherkins, good spoonful of ketchup. our lid. And now you have it folks, the best burger in the world. Thank you very much. Bye.